So good afternoon, everyone. I hope you had a great day today, <laughs> as we did. Uh, so automated network map construction for the movement of individual across geospe geographical location. That's the main uh, kind of topic that we decided it's going to be. And we created an automated network flea. It's partially done. There's still work in progress. The main contributors of this work is Jonah Lang, Samuel Cox, Kenneth Hansen, and myself. So um, the problem uh, that we I faced and uh, I wanted to apply to other uh, applications of when you have several locations and you're trying to actually create a network map using any uh, available uh, network my map applications or website, it's really difficult. Hence. Uh, and I define the routes or distances or being actually able to construct using all of those uh, locations and the destination uh, routes, uh, it's time <coughs> consuming and when you do it manually, it's actually inefficient. So I really required and I think this work can be actually applied and used by other people as well. So um, first of all, uh, I wanted to say that uh, we discussed with our teammates how we're going to move. We uh, try to define the problem and understand what's the best way to achieve and uh, how we can move, move forward. So, um, don't uh, 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 So there were uh, a lot of options op open to us. Um, so, for example, uh, we had, uh, there was more than these five possible um, routing packages that we could have used. Uh, we spent quite a long time I mean, and ahhing about what would actually be possible because uh, we really wanted to go with the open street maps rather than with the Google API. Uh, so going with the Google API had nice documentation and everything else um, and we knew it would work but we uh, spent a long time instead attempting to use something else. Uh, finally we did make it work because we got very close to just going stuff over, let's go with Google. Um, uh, but yes, um, I'm not sure what was next. <laughs> So uh, oh, so, 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 we, so we chose the pi root lib3 um, as our routing algorithm, uh, which means that we can input locations and then that routes us uh, uh, across a map. Yeah. yeah. And also it allows us to calculate distances between locations, so you don't have to actually go to any web page to do that. So, uh, workflow. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so this is the workflow for that we followed. So we had to identify what the problem was, and we had to when you've got a conflict, people need to move to camps where they're safe, refugee camps. So we've got, uh, got to have an API that will take us route on a route and find the distance of that route. Uh, the simplest possible network is having one conflict zone and one camp with no towns on route. But of course the situation is much more complex, so we've developed several areas of uh, or several test data sets. And then you have to merge partial routes where possible and identify nodes, which are cities that makes it easier for people to understand. And all of this uh, we were trying to do through the open street map query system and the wrapper that we had, you know, the package, Python package we had to do that. And then we were going to pass that into a visualization system. And for us, the uh, base map wasn't working because they just updated Pi, Matplot, Lib and uh, there's deprecated uh, functions within that which we couldn't use so that was that was part of it so we split the work into two parts really identifying the network and developing the parts of the visualization that were necessary to show the network once it being produced oh. So the lo I'm not quite sure what the local infrastructure was. What was the local infrastructure? Uh, <coughs> the data that's available that I provided to my team members that I was already working with. Uh, okay. It's not a web app. Web app was. Ah, uh, okay. So it's we had we had some local data. Um, and everything runs just as, as Python scripts. Yeah, everything runs as Python scripts. 
OpenStreetMap doesn't have <coughs> council war zones on it. So <laughs> we have a local data. So to go through quickly, so this is our uh, script that uh, Samuel was uh, concentrating on, and uh, it's available on our GitHub, which is on Network Flea. Uh, so this is the network map visualization that was constructed uh, by uh, Joan, and uh, you can actually uh, in, in integrate it with the data, and it actually identifies you with the, the dots, which one is conflict zone and which one is a uh, Camp. So uh, before I wasn't been able to do this. Of course, there are other applications such as Carter.com where you have to put your CSV file, but still it doesn't allow you to connect dots. So by the visualization which was developed by Joan, it was already done. So you don't have to actually connect the dots or connect the locations between each other. Um, one more thing, it's the script that you can find also in uh, Network Flea. Um, so uh, our work is open and uh, it's under BDS closed license and you can find the readme all the information about documentations. Uh, feature potential is that I'll be using it for my research as well as uh, other researchers who are working with migration or uh, it can be climate migration or uh, bird animal migration as well because they all use network maps. And uh, this will be potentially uh, the further written in a conference paper and uh, I think there's a uh, room for improvement and this work will be in progress. Uh, so this is just a snap of our whiteboard that we had in the room, uh, which was a brainstorming and we had all the ideas and all the notes. So uh, all, the all the members contributed and uh, it was really great. Thank you. <laughs>